Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hot Bell Run with me, Simulation for the Nation. It is October. It is snowing. And there's not much that we can do at the moment. So what we have done is taken on a couple of contracts. Three, to be precise. I'm just knocking out a little bit of fertilizer spread in here for this uh, wheat, which is coming along looking very nice, actually. Nice and thick looking crop. Uh, we're going to get back in because it is snowing, like I say. Uh, let's get that door shut. Uh, we've got the other... We've got one of our own tractors out there. We've actually got a contracted tractor as well uh we're in 15 doing a bit of cultivation which is just over the brow of the hill there actually uh and then we've also got down at 45 there's a bit of wheat being drilled down there actually it goes uh now we're just gonna get this one all rattled out nice and quickly uh, i want to turn that off there and it would help sim if you uh, connect those up there but we will we will get ourselves away. This field's going to take no time at all to do. Whatever fertilizer, it's our own fertilizer anyway, but whatever fertilizer we have left there, we are going to stick onto our own fields when the time is right. Uh, but you'll see just a couple of quick passes of this and then we'll be done. We'll probably swing by and have a look at the uh, the new Massey working the cultivator, see how we're getting on there. And later on, when we get back to the yard, we're actually going to do a little bit of drive or field track maintenance. Uh, we're going to, with the new land that we picked up recently, we're actually going to install and uh, work on the on the track on the road down the side of that make it a little bit stronger make it a little bit more level there's a few potholes and uh, rough patches in it so we can get down to the land that we need to reclaim in the corner now when the actual reclamation will begin i'm not sure we got the field plowed over there yesterday and that's all good and done uh so not too much more left to do there really which is good uh oh we're finished there already wonderful stuff We'll get off this gentleman's field, shall we? Uh, and then we're just going to go this way here. And go and see uh, see how field 15's come along, actually. Look at all the stones over here as well. Heavens above. Uh, I have I now have a new need and interest in stones. We can use them. And uh, we'll be trying our best to do that. Uh, what we'll do, though, is... I think... Let me just see here. Yeah, let's go up that way. And we can go around here so we should see our man working away up here somewhere which would be great he's just doing a bit of cultivation with our own tractor our own cultivator uh quite a big field though he's been working his way through it he's just on the far side there somewhere we can't quite see him unfortunately but yeah we're just trying to it, as you can see money is not in a great position at the moment there we uh we're a little low looking into what we can do right now there's just a lot of cultivation contracts uh, and small fertilizer contracts so nothing that's too good for us nothing that's too lucrative uh we're still waiting as well for uh, we've just recently sold off a load of milk so that is coming along and our uh, greenhouses are producing slowly now since the uh, update so we'll uh, we'll have to wait and see but we'll continue on anyway uh and like i say we're going to do a little something a little bit useful uh we can't get into the fields at the moment there's no need for us to be on the fields either but we can be useful and we can get a little bit of uh, new access for ourselves as well there so that should be good uh, i hope you're all doing very well do let us know down below how you get on with your series there and what's happening um, but we yeah, have this is going to be looking forward to this it's a continuation really of us expanding the farm there and it's something that's a little bit more fun and enjoyable way to spend the the time here that we have on hot Belleron. uh you know not too sure how long we'll go on i must admit though i am really thoroughly enjoying this game safe uh really really am it's been a, a surprise how much i actually enjoy the giants map there usually i'm keen to get off as quickly as possible there to find the next map whatever that may be i know a lot of people have moved on over to uh, no man's land i think i'll give that one a bit of a pass for now uh just to see that i did think about taking the survival project that way as well but uh seems like a lot of people might be doing a similar sort of thing so for right now we'll just leave a be and see what happens oh you wait there eee, drivers today lord heavens above that was close i love the sound effects as we're in cap here listen to the sounds of the wipers this uh swaying backwards and forwards this sounds brilliant as you can see this little bit of land here that's not belonging to us that's the really rough bit we don't have any use for that but you can see where our, our land starts we've hedged all that off put some trees in of course a nice little fence coming all the way along here as well again just to make it feel a little bit more like our own land there a little bit more uh closed off and intentional and i think it's uh, it's looking good actually 
Okay, so we're just gonna swing into our yard here. We've got a load of stone loaded up already. We actually have to hire a stone picker to, to clear off the field. That, this field here, we'll have a look at it in a bit of a second and see how much larger it is. Now it's all plowed over. But we uh, we don't really have enough money to afford to hire that. We want to keep ourselves in a good position. So we're just using all the stone that we've uh, already acquired during this uh, process here. Uh, which is still a fairly sizable amount, it must be said. And let's just drop this down here without crashing, ideally, Sim. Be good. That's better. Wonderful stuff. As you can see, pallets are starting to form. They're just not coming in too quickly, but they are coming. So I think by the time we can roll around two tomorrow, we'll have a good load. As you can see, I've already loaded up the class turret trailer there. So we're looking great uh, there. Okay. And there's a lot of work I'd usually want to do now, such as servicing up some of the equipment, but and respraying and uh, things like that. But we're just... Uh, Oh, and there you go. It's all coming down to money at the moment for that kind of thing. So we'll just have to wait for a little bit longer. But that's fine. We're not needing to use that anytime soon. Now, it looks like all my plowing work is done. So I'm happy with that. Uh, but my will a day it is. Won't stop snowing whilst we're here. That's about finished. You can see we're drilling wheat down there at quite a quick rate. Actually, that won't take too much longer to finish up at all. So we have finished that one. That's wonderful. We do have quite a few contracts here that we can take. Uh, and, you know, we may well look into just continuing to take those, see how we get going through them all. Uh, but, yeah, that's, uh, that's about all we can do right now. What we can do, though, what we are going to do, we've got a JCB there. That will have to come down at some point. But for right now, we'll just take this. Uh, I don't want to be in D. That seems a bit excessive. Uh... There you go. All right, let's get us up away then. Uh, like I say, we're just going to uh, we're going to go down that new track here. What I think I'm going to do is actually just reverse down here. I'm going to try out my reversing ability, see what we're looking like, because I don't. It's a heckishly rough at the other side, so I don't think we'll be able to actually uh, swing ourselves in there, or um, you know, once we get down there, I don't think we'll be able to turn around very easily. So this might be the easiest way. Can't really see where I'm going though, which is not ideal. Definitely don't want to crash there either. Oh, wonderful stuff. Let's take it nice and slowly there, I guess. No pressure on the old reverse in here, Sim. As you can see, though, look at the amount of stones over there that we need to pick up at some point soon. Now there's going to be a healthy amount to go in. We're going to bring all that down this way as well. Uh, with the aim of sticking it all into the, the little patch of land at the bottom here that we need to reclaim. I think it's pinching across a little bit. They're getting a little tighter on us. There's the fence line there as well, which is a little bit less forgiven. Okay. Click the fence a little bit there. Alright, then. Yeah. No, it's not going. It's going. It's it's not too rough. We'll take that. There you go. Through that little pinch of a spot there. Getting a little bit wider now. Which is good. And then we don't actually have too much further. You can see it's starting a little bit rougher. There. The track dips away on one side. That's a bit of a hole that I might look to fill in at some point, but it's not the worst spot by any stretch. As it suddenly plummets all the way down here. Alright, let's see. We'll stop all that for now. Alright. As you can see here, this is what we're going to be filling in really. This, the, the track just falls away completely down that side and there's a little bit of a hollow there. So we're going to just tip it into here. We'll bring the telehandler down and level this out. And then this spot well is just holes everywhere. So whatever stone that we have, we're just going to tip into here. Uh, we'll try and level some of it out as well before we bring in the old terrain tool. Because uh, that's expensive to do that. 
Uh, so there's a lot of humps and hollows here. We just want a relatively le level surface that we can actually use, to be honest. Uh, so that's what we're going to be looking into doing today. Uh, as you can see, if I bring up the field map, field 37 is now significantly bigger. Uh, and it is. It's looking pretty darn good if I bring it into the map here. What I do love about FS22 is that the, your, you have a dynamic map. So when you plow a field out, it does extend and, and uh, accurately depicts it, which is great. So now you can see... Our original field was about, uh, it finished about there, and it was just a, a, a rectangle. So looking a lot bigger, a lot better there, that's for sure. But as I mentioned, check out the number of rocks across here. We are, we can't get away from it. We're going to have to hire in a uh, the rock picker again, and we'll get this all done. My intentions are to hire in the rock picker to, uh, and then we'll also spread some lime onto here as well. We can't afford to do either right now, so we have to sit tight on that one. We have a bag of lime, but it won't cover this whole field. Uh, so we'll need to we'll probably do the uh the lime first i would think and then maybe work that in and then we'll see what the uh what the situation is after that so that's gonna be a lot of work to do but we'll get that done over the next few months there before we can get anything drilled in the spring i think that will be a good plan right now though i think all we can really do is just look to get this load tipped and then we'll uh, we'll bring down a secondary load as well we've got the jcb ready to go let's just tip this one about here though i think and what we'll try and do is it's coming out there is just bring it forward love it there you go perfect stuff and off we go excellent stuff so we'll go back to the yard we'll fill up and we'll back ourselves in and do it all again love this massy though it's nice it's not a lot too wide a track here either it's a nice size actually for what we need there it still gives us plenty of field space uh which is good and then i think we'll just go in through this way as well Okay. Yeah, we might as well get the stone used up somewhere. I had plans originally to use it for lime, uh, but you know we we don't have the lime crusher, uh, so that's that's all extra additional money we'd have to think about getting somewhere somehow. So this will do. It, it's a nice, unique way to use it up there. I'm hoping um, that we'll be able to actually use this as it is, and it'll all piece together magnificently. So I guess we'll find out very shortly. Uh, but yeah, and it's also it was kind of just starting to creep out onto the road there and get in the way a little bit. So good way to use it all up. not going to take a lot more in there i think that's about it in fact but in fact what we'll do we're going to take the telehandler down this time as well uh so i am going to just do a little bit of shuffling around i will we'll bring you down for the ride as well uh we'll get this uh next load reversed down but i just want to have the telehandler on the other side first so it can level things out a bit as it's down there uh so we'll get this all tied up a little bit here take a little bucket load away with us and then yeah offwards we go and see if we can make this into a little bit more of an even road in places there uh and get ourselves ready for the the next stage of the reclamation
And all right, then, folks, that looks like everything's out there already. We're just going to pull forward a little bit because it's a second to do so. And uh, let's go and have a look see. All right, and so, yeah, that's, uh, that's two loads and pretty much all of it for now. What we'll do is just pull this guy forward ever so slightly and we can have a bit more uh, push around there and see if we can get everything leveled out there but that's a good start i think we're looking uh it's not quite as much as perhaps i'd like eventually getting to gear that would help there you go and uh, let's uh let's pull this down a bit uh, excellent stuff but yeah like i say it's certainly it's a good enough starting point we'll get a few holes filled in with this at the very least there get this track on the on the level a little bit more as you can see and we'll see how that all goes but yeah that's gonna be our little plan it's a little bit bumpy still but we'll make the most of it, I'm sure. Uh, what I'd like to try and do here where possible. I'd love to have got a, a tractor machine of some sort, but uh, truthfully, can't really afford any. And then also, there's nothing too... Like, nothing big enough out there which would have done a job. There's skid steers, but, uh, you know, I just don't really know how good they'll be at a time like this, really. Uh, once a little bit bigger, maybe, if you're going to have anything, so... We'll just keep pushing along. Hopefully at some point soon we'll get some better opportunities out there for some uh, lot more tracked equipment. But for right, right now, the the Agri Pro will do its thing. Somehow, some way we'll we'll get through it all. And uh, yeah, we'll bring you along the ride as we continue to work on this. See what we can do to get it all le Oh down we go. See this is what I mean, this is just all a little bit too much. Let's see if we just take a, a touch out of there. Don't take it all by any stretch. Stick it all down that side where we can. And uh, we'll continue to see how we get on here. So that'll be our plan. We'll keep going until we get it all done. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll come back to you next time with a bit more of an update. This is the field here on, on our left. Uh, and also this track and the next step of the reclamation. So I do hope you have enjoyed. If you haven't you've yet to do so, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as always. Subscribe to Simulation for the Nation. And we'll see you all in the next one. Until then, do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing as always. And we'll catch you later.